Hey, thanks so much for finding the video. Do us a favor. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Be sure to leave your comment. We love to interact. Enjoy the video. Sunday in the Dome, 340 Central Time, Saints and Bears. And we are all very hopeful that Michael Thomas is going to be able to play in this ball game. Some uh, Zapruder film-esque footage uh, surfacing today from practice that uh, Thomas was out there. But here was Sean Payton Wednesday morning on a conference call with the media talking about the progress that Michael Thomas has made. Yeah, uh, no no updates injury-wise, John. I mean, I appreciate the question, but we'll, I'm going to see what this week holds. Currently, you know, he's still on reserve injured. I know he's been working at it um, and, and trying to get back, um, but we'll get a better feel this week as to the, the progress he's made and hopefully uh, – Hopefully that's uh, significant. Uh, needless to say, when you're talking about the reigning NFL Offensive Player of the Year, getting Mike Thomas back for this week would be significant. I'll remind you that Thomas was not available the first time the Saints and Bears played in that 26-23 overtime game, which nearly ended in a tie. Uh, the Saints, you know, Will Lutz kicked the game-winning field goal with inside of two minutes to play in overtime. So uh, Michael Thomas was not available that day. Emmanuel Sanders was out with COVID then. Drew Brees was playing, but the leading receiver for the Saints today was Alvin Kamara with nine catches for 96 yards. So this this figures to be a game on Sunday where the Saints are closer to whole offensively than they were that day. I'll also remind you that the game against Chicago in Week 8 was a week before the Saints went to Tampa and won 38-3. That, that was the the pendulum swinging moment of the season for New Orleans. The defense played like... Uh, the defense we all expected them to be. They started getting healthy on offense. Drew Brees then subsequently was injured a few weeks later. But uh, in particular, defensively and the rest of the offensive skill guys, everything started coming together. Now, the Saints did play the Bears in Week 8, as we mentioned. Sean Payton, uh, can you play six, please? This is Sean Payton talking about the season that Chicago's had, which included that loss to the Saints and a lot of ups and downs. It's kind of been a an ebb and flow to their their season and their team and their offense relative to how the season started and how fast they started and what they were doing uh, with Mitch. And they went through a stretch of adversity then, and uh, there was a different quarterback playing at that time with Nick, and we played them. And, and, and so they're, they're kind of back now uh, and, and have had a, a good run here with, uh, you know, I'd say an offense that's complementing their defense, the time of possession numbers. Um, their rushing attack, you know, we're, we're seeing the, the boots and the nakeds. They, um, so th there's been kind of two phases or two elements to, to what we've seen. And, and I think, uh, to credit Matt and those guys and that staff and, and the players, you know, they're winning football games and, and they're complimenting each other and how they're doing it. Uh, for what it's worth, the Bears offensively. While you heard mention David Montgomery, and of course there are Allen Robinson, there are some good uh, skill guys on that Bears team. Chicago is 22nd in the NFL in passing yards. They're 25th in the NFL in rushing yards. Offensively, this is just not a really good team. Their offensive line has been banged up. Trubisky, against bad teams down the stretch, they scored 36 against the Texans. They scored 41 against the Jaguars. Um... They scored 30 in a loss to the Lions when they lost 34-30. But when they played a better team like Green Bay, they tried to control the line of scrimmage, and they still gave up 35 points. They lost 35-16. So um, eventually you figure in this game it will go the way that we all assume it will, and New Orleans, the deeper, more talented team, will ultimately take over. How long would that take? It, it'll remain to be seen. But I will also be very interested to see the Saints secondary. And Sean Payton did talk about this as well today. Uh, it's seven, Brandon, if we could. Sean Payton talked about this, the progress during the season. Because remember, the way the Saints season started, where we all had the expectation that defensively they were going to be what we saw for the bulk of 2017 and then 2018 when they were a game short of the Super Bowl. And then last year where they are one of the best defenses in the NFL. They opened the season and they beat Tampa and then went on the road and got torched by David Carr. And, or excuse me, Derek Carr, David Carr, Derek Carr. And then they gave up 37 at home to Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. And then they went on the road to Detroit, turned the ball over a couple of times, and had a rally against Detroit, but they gave up 25 in that game. 
and then they were lucky to outlast the Chargers in overtime uh, in the Dome, 30-27. to And it wasn't really until after that Bears game that defensively this team started to get going. And a big part of that was the secondary playing as well as it has, but also the elevation of the Saints' defensive line. But here was Sean Payton talking about the secondary, the progress they've made this year. Yeah, there's, there's, look, there's a number of things outside the first month that, um, that, that you see. Um, but fortunately, those big play numbers, the third down numbers, all, statistically, when we go through the, the makeup, statistically of each area, or we're going to go through third down red zone, or we're going to go through turnovers, you know, there those early report cards, not just on, on the defense or the big plays on – you know, in the secondary, there's a handful on offense and special teams. I mean, and the race to improve is on when that when that starts. And you're correcting, repeating, correcting. You've got it corrected, and so you're you're doing that during the week. And just as importantly, is preparing for your next opponent. And if you gloss over it, it's going to come up again. And I think you know Dennis and those guys and the players have done a great job of of uh, of improving. Uh, Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.